Uh, welcome to Explore Home Repeat. Today we are at Water Perry Gardens. It's a beautiful day in the middle of July, so we thought we'd come here, have a picnic, and just do a really relaxing sort of video stroll around this absolutely stunning garden. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. We do day out reviews all across the country and upload once a week. Uh, while you're here, just give this video a like for us. That'd be much appreciated. I'm very excited. This place is one of our favorites and yeah, we want to show you around. Right, you ready? Yeah. Let's explore. So you can see here at Water Prairie, they've got this huge amphitheater just as you come in from the sort of where you buy your tickets. Um, and they appear to do operas, mainly in August, I think. But wow, wouldn't that be amazing yeah. to come and see an open air opera and with all the gardens around you as well. It's a really impressive thing for such a small sort of independent garden. Water Prairie sort of split up into sections. There's this big, long, let swoop round, big, long border, absolutely huge, gigantic in fact. Um, and then you've got kind of a rose garden within these yew hedges. Over this way you can see just in the distance, the other side of this sort of meadow area is a big, big orchard. There's hundreds and hundreds of sort of fruit trees, apples, pears, things like that. There's a little pond at the end over here. And there's a dry garden just the other side of this uh, rose garden. And then kind of the exit and the house is way over the other side here. So I think it's about seven or eight acres altogether. So it's a fairly big area to explore. So this river walk sort of within this woodland area is just beautiful. You can kind of just slow down a little bit, uh, just take your time. The sound of kind of the trees in the wind and stuff is absolutely beautiful. Again, it's just so peaceful here. As you walk up this long border, you get to the end and there is this absolutely stunning pond a gorgeous statue in it. It's full of water lilies and newts, loads of damselflies, all made by that statue at the end. In the middle of this big open space they've got this sort of big monolith that's got these gold phrases carved into it. When you carve creatures like this, does it look like you just forgot the R and then had to find somewhere to put it? If you're into sort of alpines and dry gardens, then this is your place. They've got a fantastic selection. Everything's in flower as well. I think sometimes alpines, the sort of flowering doesn't really get taken into account, but it's absolutely brilliant. There's also plenty of places to sit uh, so many benches around everywhere at Water Perry. All really nice views. This one's even got a bit of shade. So we're now just going to have a look in this gallery they've got here. This is one of these places where you could spend an absolute fortune buying little cups and saucers and tea mugs and things. We really like these little these little cups. Really nice espresso cups. Love that finish on them. Just by the uh, car park, before you get into the garden, there is a tea shop here. It's in a bit of a hut, uh, but there is a, a nice outdoor seating area. Some of it undercover as well. It's just doing the general kind of stuff, teas, coffees, sandwiches, some hot meals, uh, cakes, things like that. But if you can grab it and go and eat outside on a nice sunny day, that's definitely the, the secret. So we're just chilling out after our walk round Water Perry Gardens. How did you find it? Yeah, really good. Um, the planting is in nearly in full bloom everywhere, so we're getting like the maximum you can out of this garden. Yeah. There's certainly a lot of flowers. Those borders are absolutely packed and they're very, very pretty. What I would say about Water Perry is that the, sort of the garden design, there's not really any sort of main features and focal points. There's that one pond, but it is just kind of general planting. 
Um, perhaps not quite as good as places like Rousham or the big places like Wisley. Yeah, yeah, true. Um, it's, it's only like a couple of hour, you know, day out. So yeah. you could just have a cup of tea, a bit of a picnic. It's just a nice little, you know, relaxing afternoon. So As we said, the, the house is a private house. So you can't go in there. It's not like a national trust or anything. It is independently owned. All in all, a really nice relaxed afternoon out. I think that's it from us. We're going to go home. So don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.